on Long Island, this team first appeared in orange and blue in the early 70s. They still call this place their home. They are the New York Islanders. Greetings, everyone. Along with Stanley Cup winner from 1994, Eddie Olchek, I'm Mike Emmerich. That hallowed trophy will probably be in the building before the evening is over. Tends to be fashionably late when it could be handed out. Think of this from the perspective of the team facing elimination tonight. They know their dream of getting their name on the cup. That cup's going to be in the building, but maybe they aren't going to get it. So how do they think about this game? Well, I think that's a little bit of a motivation, Doc, to keep the Stanley Cup behind closed doors, give themselves an opportunity under this adversity to get back in this series. We direct our attention to the Nets and the starting goalies. Slovakia-born Yaroslav Halak has prepared his goal crease for the start of another game here. A two-time Olympian for his country and shared the Jennings Trophy for fewest goals yielded while in St. Louis. Mike Smith, big man, six feet four, NHL goalie since 2006, once played in Lexington, Kentucky in the minors, has led the NHL in shutouts during his career and has scored a goal with his stick. In the net. Diagonally to Opozo. And that's an offside. Dones put the glove in his face. He's been doing that all night long. Time of the goal. 19 minutes, 48 seconds. Neutral zone pickup here by Hammond. And the game is over. The series is over. New York's won the Stanley Cup. Do you believe the celebration going on? A fitting tribute to a wonderful season. Training camp in September was a dream for this team. It is a nightmare. They got so far. We'll have the same short summer, but nothing to show for it. And so now the handshakes. One team hopes there'll be more smiles in at least another handshake line in the near future. The playoff MVP gets the Conn Smythe Trophy, and here is the winner. It's often said it's the hardest prize to win because it takes eight weeks. And by tradition, the captain is the first to hold it high. And there's always a pecking order as to how it gets handed off, and that's all a part of Stanley Cup lore. You can only imagine how much soreness you fight through in a collision sport. Guys have lifted this cup with dislocated shoulders after hernia surgeries just two days before. Doesn't matter. It's over 30 pounds. They find a way. You play that hard and that long. You get your names on a trophy, rings on your fingers, and one last photograph evidence of it all.